Hey everyone, Crypto Cathy here. Hope you guys are good. I feel like it's been a while. It's probably been like a week, if I'm honest, since I posted a video because I've spent the whole last week just reading, analysing, reading the charts, analysing the charts, marking up the charts and all that good stuff. But before we go into it, um, if you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe. And um, I'm not a financial advisor, just a crypto lover, a crypto enthusiast who likes to do loads of research and all that good stuff and find all them good altcoin gems and all that good stuff. So always do your own financial research. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to cover the um, Bitcoin, Bitcoin news, Bitcoin update, the market, what can we expect, the price predictions, things that are going on right now, what can possibly happen so we are a bit prepared, what we can possibly do, all that good stuff. Okay, so let's get straight to it. So as mentioned last week, I said so, well more than last week, last couple of weeks, um, Bitcoin's been moving like it's been is the market's been a bit unpredictable. We can say right, we can all agree on that, right? So um, I've been doing loads and loads of reading, loads and loads of reading articles, loads of doing research, loads, loads of watching videos, loads of marking up charts, loads of making price analysis, all this, all this crazy stuff. So in this video, I'll just be going through all of that stuff. Okay, cool. So I used to I used to trade forex. So I used to mark up charts all the time, Fibonacci, Elio, Elio um, waves, all that good stuff. Mark, like I used to always analyze the charts so I could see mm -hmm. what was going up and down in the charts and stuff. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to show you a chart that we're looking at with Bitcoin and telling you what I think can possibly happen. Okay, cool. So as you can see, the chart that's right in front of me over here, we are in a downward trend. I'm sure you can see we've been in a downward trend. Um, our highs were very high, so we were quite high a few months ago, and then since then it's been going on a downward trend. And as you can see, a triangle is formed here where it's bounced up and down, up and down, and it's like it's been going up and down, hovering around. Okay, so as you can see, this triangle over here, it looks like we can possibly, possibly, possibly be slightly. It's been slightly bullish. Let's let's agree on that. I'm trying to put it in a nice way, but it can still go a bit further down. So looking at the chart, I was thinking at what numbers are good. So I was drawing up support and resistance lines. So where it could possibly hit, where it could break through, and based on the chart, it looks like it can possibly, possibly, possibly hit over here. You can see on my chart, but then retrace slightly down to maybe 30. So Bitcoin could possibly hit 30k and then go further down to 27, and then even further down to 24. Bear with me one second. I think the lines of my chart just went. But not to worry. Um, let me go back. Let me undo what I just did. Let me not undo my chart. <laughs> I was trying to show you something on my chart, but you, the lines went. I don't know if you can remember the lines, but don't worry. I remember all the lines. So I'm just going to take you through the lines. One second, let me see if I can just go back without... Okay, I'm not going to go back. I'm just going to leave it where it is. Okay, cool. Sorry, I don't know what I did to make my chart this clear. I think I just pressed undo. But I remember where all the lines are. We're in a triangle and it's bouncing up and down. I feel like it... Between the num between where we are now, which is about 37, 38k, we've gotten to about 39 to 42k, where it can hit there before it does it does a major drop and a major drop could be to 30k to 27k or even as low as 24k okay so i do think just to make it clear i do think in the long run um bitcoin is going to go dramatically up like i can see it hitting 100k i don't know if it's gonna be later on this year even possibly 2022 but later on this year so this this really just affects everyone's strategy so if you it depending on when you got into some of your entries and your plays and your outcome gems it still may be worth you just holding position because it will go up in the long run. But depending on where you got on, where a lot of people may have got on, it is going to drop to 20, possibly, possibly, possibly drop to 30, 27 or 24. Only possibly. It may shoot up. We have to understand where we're looking at the fine lines are, are 38 to 42. So it can go up to about 42 and then drop down. Or it can even do a retracement where the triangle is. Sorry, my chart. I just clicked. I don't know what button I clicked. So my chart's a bit disappeared a little bit. And it can hit. It can hit and then break through. So we have to just decide what we want to do. But there's so many different things depending on your situation. If you got in some of these outcomes you have not too long ago and you're in major profit, it could be a great suggestion to maybe take some profit off the table so you lower your risk. 
But if you've been someone that's been holding for a long time, then maybe your position that you got in was so, 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 so good and you've been in for years. So then you your position is probably never, maybe it would never drop to as low as that. So it completely depends upon you. But if you are a major, major profit and you got into some of these altcoin gems not that long ago, you can take some profit just to, just to reduce your risk. I was reading an article today and they were saying that um, pre-2009 Bitcoin, Bitcoin makes 44% of the BTC active market. So some people have been in Bitcoin for years, of course. So some of the entries that we've got, they got in such good entries that even now, even if it did retrace to 24, which could possibly be the worst case scenario, um, there will still be a major profit. So I think you have to think about where you are with that. Like in, in the sense that if if you are still going to be a major good profit and you got in a long time ago, you may want to hold position because in the long run, Bitcoin probably going to hit 100k or more like we see it overall it's very i'm very 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 bullish on bitcoin i feel like it's gonna overtake its all-time high and it's gonna literally go well over 60 well over 70 even up to 100k or more but i just don't i don't know if that's gonna be in a couple of months so we're just just in case based on the news based on the market based on the charts we are just trying to make sure we minimize some of our risk but it's completely your decision and it completely depends on when you enter some of the altcoin gems. Um, if you feel like you entered a long time ago and you've still got a great position, you may not want to come out of the position. I completely understand that. You might just want to draw some profits um, or you might just want to hold because in the long run. So it's completely, completely, completely up to you. Just thought I would let you know about my charts and what I was looking at and how I was analysing the charts and how I felt about the whole market and everything that was going on in the charts. But yeah, that was just a little quick update video for you. I'll have another video for you with the whole charts, mark the charts and just discussing the market. Because obviously I'm still super, super, super bullish on Bitcoin. I think in the long run, we are going to be a major, major, major profit with Bitcoin. Like I feel like it's going to fly. Um, but for now, I don't know if it's going to do a retracement to the numbers I showed you on the charts, which were possibly 30k, possibly 27k and possibly, possibly, possibly at its lowest 20, 24k before shooting up. But I do think we have got until maybe possibly between now to where we are about 37, 38k to 42k and then, then it might do a drop down. But you never, never, never know. It's good to play it safe because as you, as you can see before I before I'm, um, I undo my charts, you can see the charts how it's bouncing up between a triangle and it's on a downward trend. That's important to know. Okay, so I thought I'd give you guys an update and fill you guys in on what I was thinking and what I was feeling and yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll definitely give you another update later on. Have a great day. Bye.